All right, y'all. I look like literal doo-doo. I'm sick, anxious. It's one in the morning and I have to poop. But I got another package and I ain't talking about back there. Sorry, that was gross. Up. Let's go. Woo. Okay, this is like the most basic little zip up in the world, but I feel like this with leggings is just like a go-to basic. And I have a little baggy jean moment. I don't know. Ooh, oops, I... Um, I don't wanna get in trouble, but this top is a moment, babe. And these pants looked better on the model, in my opinion. I mean, they're comfy as hell. I just knew this was gonna be a look. I look like the Milky Way. I'll be your guardian angel, babe. Once again, I can't get too close with this one. But I also got these jeans, and I feel like uh, my cookie just looks awkward. The jeans are comfy, I just don't like them. I saw this on the model, and I had a vision. And look at the back, babe. Do something cool with my hair. It's gonna happen. Oh my god, wait, now, now I look like Space Cadet. Okay, this would be really cute, but I quite literally cannot lift my arms up. I couldn't even step into it. I had to put it over my freaking head. I think I have it on red. This is how the model had it on. It's like one in the morning and I'm screaming, but I'm sick. Let me do what I want. If I wore this, I would have to be like, ba ba bee boo, because I can't lift my arms. So, it's a no. Something about this top I just really love. Got these jeans. I don't like them in the back, but I like them in the front. Why is all this making me hungry? I don't like this one. Finally, a shirt that isn't see-through, but this is making me realize that I hate these jeans. This is like something I don't think I need, but I probably do need. Obviously, I don't like this together, but I'm just showing you this jacket. Last but not least, I have an interesting little number. I don't know if I'm doing it right. Guys, I'm a mummy. I feel like toilet paper. I can definitely say I don't own anything else like this. <laughs> Look at this beanie I got. It literally looks like it's made for a baby doll. Let's try it. <laughs> it looks like a bean. It literally just made the tip of my head disappear. Oh, cause I'm too cool. Hope y'all enjoyed. It's 2 a.m. and I'm about to drive four hours to Georgia. <sighs> Happy Thanksgiving. Goodbye. That actually hurts my throat because I'm sick. Sick! Who took me shopping? Let's do a haul. Let's do a haul. All right, all the brown bags are shoes, so we're going to start with the shoes. So I got the Atmosphere ones. Then I got the Hyper Royal ones. Michigan Dunks. I don't even know what the fuck these are called, but they were hella cute, so. <laughs> and then I got the University Fours. Next, I got these heels. We're moving on to the clothes now. So I just got these Essential Sweats. The Bay Hoodie. This bodysuit. I got a lot of bodysuits, but this bodysuit. This bodysuit. And the same one, but in black. This is the haul for today. Stay tuned for next month. <laughs> it has been a long journey of unlearning the male gaze, redefining what makes me feel pretty, and figuring out how I want to present myself in a way that's authentic to me and not just trying to meet the beauty standard or get male validation, I don't really know. I know it probably sounds stupid, but it's genuinely a huge deal for me that I stopped fake tanning, I'm doing my makeup differently, I'm, I'm, I'm evolving and I'm growing, okay? So my next mission is my wardrobe and I have spent so much of my life rejecting my femininity and being ashamed of being a girly girl and trying to be more like one of the boys to be cool and that's just not who I am. And so I bought a bunch of clothes on Depop that do reflect who I feel that I am that I would like to show you now. Most of these pieces are from the same Depop seller, so I'll put the name here, but they take vintage pieces and add their own like ruffles and lace and bows and ribbons, and it's so cute. I already wore this piece in one TikTok. Okay, next I got this gorgeous emerald green cardigan with all these pearls all around it and a little ribbon in the front. You guys actually don't understand how happy this makes me. This is a dream. Look at all the little details. Ah, uh, it's so so cute! Okay, I am still insecure wearing black because I feel like I look so pale, but then I got this top. I'm putting everything over the same nightgown because I'm lazy, but it has all these bow details. It reminds me of something Devin Lee Carlson wore once. Mm, the girls who get it, get it. Okay, so that was all from that seller, but then also on Depop, I got this little patchwork pink top. It's just like, I feel like a fairy would be wearing this in like the forest, you know? Kind of unrelated, but my mom also got me this baby pink fuzzy wrap from Skims for Christmas um, that I thought kind of went with like the hyper femme vibe. Okay, last thing I got, kind of unrelated also, but I just think it's so cute. It's this little patchwork dress. I just feel like Jenny from Gossip Girl would have wore this. And that's all. Thanks for watching. Damn it. Damn it! <laughs> 
guys love watching me struggle to find a good pair of jeans. So we are bringing in the real MVP of the jean game. It's American Eagle, baby. You guys are gonna be so proud of me because I actually went to the store and returned those other Forever 21 jeans. Wow, we are growing this year. It's 2022. So today we spent a whopping $150 on three pairs of jeans, but hear me out. They're worth it in my opinion. At least I motherfucking hope so because the other ones did not fit, but these ones will for sure. You guys have been asking forever, what are these pants? Where did I get them from? These are them. I know this is backwards, but it's the Kirby high rise legging and next level stretch. I get them in a size six and short. The fact that I had to get another pair says a lot. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? These pants literally give every every ounce of their being to look good on you another big part i like too is that the bottoms have these little rips on them super cute and you can tuck them into boots too so you don't know that they have rips but i'm just saying like y'all really ask me every time i wear these jeans where the hell they're from you're welcome we're trying again this is the mom straight jean i'm really hopeful for these because again american eagle usually always hits right this is what they look like i like them because they don't have any holes in them i mean the tops a little bit but that's the biggest point okay these are them they fit i mean they definitely fit i feel like from this angle like it doesn't do it justice but like they do kind of give off mom vibes like a flat mom butt <laughs> look funny without shoes on so i'm gonna pair them with these from forever 21 okay i can kind of see it now i'm really bad about giving off good lighting but i mean and maybe you can like roll them up too this is what they look like rolled up a little bit ah uh, you know i like these we we can vibe with these last but not least the one we've all been waiting for the black pair of jeans that i hope fit yesterday was hella not cute i was so pissed I was so mad. These are the highest rise 90s boyfriend fit. I got them in a size six. Well, let's try them on. Oh my God, why? There's literally no point in me trying to hike these up anymore. It's not gonna fit, it's not gonna work. Oh my freaking God. Drop your suggestion in the comments where to get the jeans. So my order for spring break came in and I'm gonna show you what I got. This is from she everything's from Shein, but this is like the first dress. Like it could give. Okay, next is this one. This is cute. This little skirt. Ow. Okay, Shein jeans are actually so slept on. Like, these fit better than all of my Zara ones. Like, 100%. So I got these, and then I got um, this, like, knit crop top. Okay, so this top's, like, fully see-through, but I'm thinking maybe with um, a bathing suit underneath, it would look good for spring break. Okay, next I got these leather pants. They're, like, flare on the bottom and then I got just like this top that has like a tie back okay then I got this um I also got this top which is like just like the you one I just tried on but it's like worse I don't like it okay I think this is the last shirt but how cute I feel like TikTok will take it down if I like don't cover so I got these like pants, but like they're like w very weirdly fitting. It's like baggy up here, but like tight on my thighs. But um, yeah, I got this bathing suit too. Okay, I'm literally obsessed with this. This is like perfect. Everyone go on and in and buy this right now. I don't feel like trying these on, but I got this. Um, this one, just like a regular black one. Um, this one. The one I just had on, but in black. And that's it.
Good news is I've got clothes for all of winter. Bad news is I'm about $600. But this calls for a very large winter sheen haul. Okay, so we're gonna start with the shackets and the flannels. Okay, shackets are my favorite thing to wear in the winter just because they're cute. I can dress them up and my favorite type of wear is cute comfy. Um, so it keeps me warm, I'm comfortable, and it's also super stylish. So this one and this one and this one, this one, this, a cropped one. And lastly, this one, it looks like the first one I showed, just this one's a little shorter in length. I like to dress the shackets down and put a sweatshirt underneath. So I got this one and this one and this one. And then when I'm trying to dress up a shacket or a jacket, I will put like a tank top or a long sleeve or a turtleneck. So the first thing I got was a super cute cropped um, high neck tank top and go to part two. Okay, I am going to show y'all everything that I got at Ross's 99 cent clearance. Almost every single thing that I got here was either $1.49, 99 cents, or 49 cents. Needless to say, but run to your nearest Ross or Ross's right now. I went to three different Ross's. You do have to look through the clearance. Like, not everything is 99 cents, but clearly it's worth it. Okay, let's get into it. Okay, first up, I got this super cute, like, tie front cardigan, $1.49. And then I got this ribbed little tank top, super good material, like the, you know the material, 49 cents. I got this corset top, such good material, like, fully padded. It is a couple sizes too big, though. Um, I did get like the wrong sizes in some of these stuff because I do sew so I would be able to like easily just take some of it in But yeah, and this was 99 cents Okay, I'm gonna have to go faster. I got this two-piece sweater dress set for $2.99 and they are detachable so it's a twofer. Also, the material is kind of like crochet that's all. This one does not want to cooperate, but I got this little top. It has this like underwire. It's cute. 99 cents. This one is one of my favorites and I almost didn't get it. Cute little denim corset with a tie. 49 cents. This is going to be so cute in summer. This one was 49 cents. It's like a little silky halter tank top. It didn't come with a strap though, so I just added like one of my necklaces. Okay, this is like a little open back tank top. It does, oh, it's upside down. Or not, I don't know. It does have straps that like go around. It's completely open back, like it's just the strings. This was 49 cents. Okay, I know this one looks a little crazy, but imagine it cropped. So cute. And 49 cents, yet again. And then I just got like some good wide leg sweatpants for 99 cents. This is one that I'm gonna have to take in, but how cute would this be for Valentine's Day? I love the neckline. You can see there. It was 49 cents. Okay, this was on clearance, but not like the 99 cent clearance. It was 9.99, but how beautiful. It is such a good length too. I'm obsessed. Okay, this was not on clearance either, but how cute is it? I don't even like wearing color, but I love this. The material is so good, $9.99. And I also got this bust for room decor, not on clearance, but I've been wanting one forever for $13.99. And this candle for I majorly splurged. Where did it go? I um, decided to, yeah, this is full. Cool. I decided to do a little shopping spree. With spring break coming up, I got some bathing suits, everything um, off of Shein, which I haven't shopped on Shein since maybe senior year of high school, so this is fun. Um, first and foremost, this outfit is from Shein. Their, like, their active wear is the same as Lululemon. When I tell you, this is the softest, most, like, so I splurged on their workout um apparel so i bought like 10 of the same thing and i'm still gonna go back and buy more of them okay this is the first set um such good quality i'm literally like speechless i'm like she and since when is this you know and then look at this little align jacket dupe it's kind of cropped so it's very like figure flattering kind of gives that little bbl effect um i'm obsessed 
I also got it in this like yellow pastel color, which is so cute. And I got this is pastel like purple and like lilac purple. They don't really match, but this is like the dupe for the um, airy leggings that have like a little V, a little cinch for waist. And then I got a pack of biker shorts. They come in black, purple. I really like, and they have a little cinch effect in the butt. And they come in green. I can't tell. I like the green and the purple a lot. And they come in like a gray, um, navy blue color as well. And then as far as like going out shirts, this is a green going out shirt. These leather pants are from Zara, so not a part of the haul, but I got it in white as well. This top is so flattering and I love the back because it's just like a little crisscross open back moment. And I got this black top that ties on the sides and I am obsessed with it. It is so cute and flattering. And then I got this black bodysuit with little cutouts and I love how it's not like just spaghetti strapped. It has like this like um squared rounded neckline it was super cute and i got a bunch of green shirts but this is the first one and i think this style and like this um pattern is very trendy at the moment and i love the open back and i got this corset style top that has a zipper in the back which i wish it was you know ties or something because it is a little bit loose but i think it's very flattering with this satin corset bodysuit um kind of reminds me of like tinkerbell moment um, I'm obsessed as well. <laughs> and then this brown um, open back little crop top. I like the slit. Very cute. Very trendy. This one took me a second to figure out, but it's this brown like super strappy top. Um, you can figure it out. It's cute. And then this is the last top, but I definitely think this is kind of more of a miss because the quality kind of feels like papery. But I will be making a part two for all of the bathing suits, so go check that out. Okay, we're gonna start with what Lab got. So, I got these high waisted jeans from H&M. They're baggy and adorable. And to match them, I got this light blue baby tee. So cute. And from Paxson, I got this really adorable cutie pie shirt. Aww. Love. Okay, and then I just wanted to get like, since I got my sister some stuff, I wanted to get my dad and my little brother some, so I got my dad these shorts from Forever 21. And then from H&M, I got my brother just these brown sweatpants because I just wanted everybody to feel included. My love language is making people food and giving gifts, so. Then for me, from H&M, I got this top, which is really cute and like, yeah. It looks like this. Then I got underwear and bras from Pink for me and my sisters, so that was fun. Okay, last is Paxa, and I did the most damage because I love Paxa. Well, Brandy. Okay, first thing I got was this Malibu crew neck, and if you know me, like, I wear my Los Angeles crew neck that's white from Brandy, like, so much, so I got a Malibu one, super cute. Then I got this tank top, which I think is cute, like, it looked really good with the jeans I tried on, so I had to buy it. Okay, then I got this, like, sweater, um, zip-up thing from John Gall, or Brandy, and I used to literally hate this neck, but I'm obsessed with it now, and it just fits... Chef's kiss, everything, all above. Then I got this collar thing. I've been really into collars. I don't know why. Um, I guess that's just all they have. Then I got one more shirt like this, and my sister has one, and it fits tight, so it's like so like flattering. And hers is in white, and I got the tan one. Lastly, I did their denim, buy one, get one 50% off jeans. So I got these jeans, which I'm obsessed with. They fit so good, and... I never really like fine jeans that go all the way down because I'm a tall girl. <laughs> and these are literally my favorite. They're just called the baggy jean and I love that they have no rips in them. It's kind of refreshing. Back with another Sheen package. I swear these seem to be y'all's favorite videos. <laughs> Here's everything. I swear I always forget like what I order. Four of these packages are actually workout sets. <laughs> I'm gonna try to make this fast. First workout set. This, this looks small. Gray top and gray shorts. I'm obsessed with this color. Pink shorts and pink top. These blue shorts and blue top to match. This one's a little different. Looks like this. Okay, last workout set. These orange shorts and the matching top.
top. Okay, the next two things are the exact same but different colors. I got this tank top. It looks like this. And I also got it in bright orange. Next thing is this gold top. Hold on. Okay, this is the top. Next, I got this little black set with a black tank top and shorts that match. These black denim shorts. And last but not least, these black jeans. Okay, I went shopping again, like every other day. But we're gonna do like a little haul because I like this stuff I like got. Okay, let's try it out. First, I got this little like fuzzy set from Garage. Mm. I am loving the shorts. They're so cute. They're so cozy. They're so flattering. They're so everything. The top fits weird. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, next I bought this like purple like long sleeve top for the gym because the material is pretty nice. So I usually just wear like crop tops and long sleeves to the gym. I don't actually buy gym tops because that's silly because it's overpriced. This is also from Garage. Same type of material. So I'll be wearing this to the gym as well. It's cute. I love it. This is the back. Like it's kind of like open a little bit. I'm going to Aeropostale. I love the store. I don't care what anyone says. This top I'll probably wear to the gym or something. The shorts I got a bunch of different colors because I've been looking for them forever. They're my favorite shorts. Cute. I got sports bras from Pink, jewelry from Claire's. Ari needs somebody else. Alright, the Sheen haul is gonna start. Once I open this. Okay, yeah, they really need a bigger box. Oh, the, the earrings fell. I'm just gonna start off with the jewelry because I want to get that one over with. This one's just for my mom. It says J. Her name's Jen. Okay, I got these earrings. Ooh, they're really cute. I don't know. I just thought they were cute, but they are. And then these earrings. These are like the green ones. Okay, and then I follow this girl on TikTok, and she has like these really colorful necklaces on the beach, and so I wanted one, so I got one. So let me just open this. It's not actually colorful, it's just one color, but anyways. Okay, this one's my favorite. It's just a green heart. It's really cute. I honestly forgot half the stuff I ordered on here, but I got this top. It has like a little slit and then it has like a halter a tie. Okay, and then these, this came in a set. Uh, so, oh yeah, and it goes like, this wait why are there three heads okay never mind i figured it out so you put your head in here and then it's like a little cross so it looks like that not three heads oh i forgot about this one this is just a set i was thinking it'd be cute for florida um i like it and it's good material these are the tiktok leggings that i've been seeing all over tiktok um, but they have, like, the scrunch in the butt, so hopefully they're not see-through. Okay, this one, oh, I have, oh, this one's cute. This one was cuter than I expected. When I tell you I ordered so much green stuff, I did. Um, oh, this one's cute, too. It's just, like, a plain hole. I don't know what those are called. I have no clue what this is. I don't remember getting anything in this color. Oh, this one was actually really cute online. Hopefully it's cuter in person. Um, so it's like a tie, and then it ties in the back, so it's like one tie, and it's just like a bow in the back. Okay. Um, this one is just a plain tank top. I just, I had a black one of these from last year, and I really liked it, so I got another color. I saw this dress on sh on TikTok, actually. And it was so freaking cute, I just had to do it. Um, but it looks like it's gonna be... Okay guys, I just got the cutest clothes off of Amazon and everything I got was literally like under $20. This is the first top that I got. It's like a stretchy cotton type beat halter. Literally so freaking cute. Yes, I, I'm gonna try them all on after. I'll post it after. So this is like another halter and it's almost like a tie-dye type material, but literally look how freaking 
Oh, it's a dress. It's a dress. This next one, she's a little out there, but you guys know I've been looking for a euphoria. It's like a butterfly top with like sequins. And I got like this sweater with like a collar and this is also a halter, super cute. And of course a baby tee so I don't stretch out air because this one's really cute, it has butterflies. I guess I got a lot of, no, I just got two butterfly things but I think I think it's cute. Okay, and then the last thing I got is like this crossbody top. It looks like, well, you have to see it on but it's really cute. Anyway, um, I'll link everything that I got in my bio. You guys can just check out that because literally these are such good finds and I'm so excited. Hi, so I'm doing another haul video because these are my favorite. So I'm going to show you things that I got in the past week or so. Okay, the first thing is this hat. It's a trucker hat and it says expensive as fuck. I got it off Depop. It was $20. It looks like the Creme Hearts hat and it's really cute. And it fits good. And it's adjustable in the back. And then Boutine LA sent me two suits. Um, this is the first one. It's a purple. And these are the bottoms. So thank you, Boutine. And then they sent me another set in blue. Um, I'm not sure how the top goes, but the bottoms are really small, so I probably won't wear that. And then an Instagram boutique called Shop Maddox Closet sent me clothes, so thank you. Um, it's this halter top that's a Motel Rock shirt. Um, it's brown and it looks really cute on. And then they gave me blue oversized sweatpants. And then these jeans are my favorite ever. They're oversized. And they're a really cool material, and they just have holes in them, but they look really cool on. I think it's time for a clothing haul. Let's start with traffic. Los Angeles, please sponsor me. I love you. Okay, okay. I got two pairs of CDGs because my first ones came with two right feet, so. We got these lovelies, and then the classics. And then, you know, I had to pull out the stupid jeans for the one time. Then I went to Steve Madden. Ah! I got six pairs of shoes and a bag. We got the classic red wallows. The Nikas wallows. Ah! I actually got seven pairs. Then the luxuries, classic black. And the nude luxuries. I'm really about to be like 12 feet tall. And I ordered the other three online because they didn't have my size, so. And this little red glossy clutch to match my red wallows. And then I got this little piece at the Apple store. And I got a corset because I don't have one. I don't know, I just felt like I needed one. Got this white top from Urban. It's giving very Sarah Cameron. These dope pants. Two little clippies. A Fajala Raven Kangan. And the BB Simmons for Karma. Yeah. I'm doing a haul of everything I bought this week since you guys like my hauls. Okay, so this is the first thing. My boyfriend bought me these shoes for our one year anniversary. They're so cute. And I bought him and I matching bathing suits. So this off white top with this bottom. I'll show you his. So I got him these, um, yeah, that's what we got each other. From Lululemon, I got this Align tank. I got it in white. I got it in this baby blue color as well. And I got this black top. Then I got a bunch of stuff from Target, but I'm not going to show that. I also got a lot of stuff from Dick's Sporting Goods, and I'll show you. I got it for camp because I'm going to IMG. I got these Nike shorts. I got the same ones in white and then in black. I got these gray shorts from Adidas, this green Nike sports bra, a white and a black one, and then a gray Nike t-shirt and a black Nike t-shirt. I got this white Amazon skirt and again in black. My Amazon list is coming soon, but I have to figure out how to do it. I just bought $200 worth of clothes from Target. Some of it is very questionable, but I stay in my comfort zone. So I just bought like a bunch of things I probably will never wear, but I want to try on because maybe it'll surprise me, you know? So this top is a little more scandalous, but it's cute. I don't know if I would ever wear it, but we're trying it on. I thought these shorts might be cute with like a white tank top. I haven't worn a jean skirt since I was like in third grade. So we're trying this on. This little wraparound tank top. Um, this dress with cut out back. This skirt might be cute, maybe, we'll see. This was the last thing I grabbed. I looked at it and I said no, but I thought, you know what? Let's try it, why not? This dress was, <laughs> it's gonna be like a joke on my other page. Um, I would never wear it. Maybe it'll be cute on, you never know, but um, it's interesting. My Shein order is here. All right, the only thing I have are these baby ass beauty scissors to open it. Hey, they're working pretty well. 
Ah. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh yeah. I don't know if that was the best idea to dump everything on the floor. But this is so exciting. I don't know if I can fit all of these clothes into one video. There's so many. Also gonna premise this by saying, do not ask me how much I paid because I'm low key embarrassed about it, but I just got a shit ton of tops because a girl can never have enough tops. I'm in the process of restacking and reorganizing so we can go through these. May take me a minute. I'm not even halfway done. Okay. I got them all. I can't, holy fuck. Okay, I organized everything by color. Here we go. Okay, first one. 10 out of 10. It's a small. I got everything's a small, so just gonna say that. Okay. A little red moment. We're gonna start with reds and we're gonna go through the rainbow. Like, that's how we're going. Also, if you haven't noticed, definitely a part of the itty bitty titty committee, but simple. But cute. Okay, this one's really cute too. Um, little hard to get on, but that's because I have broad shoulders, so. I'm sick. Oh, jeez. My only complaint is that these strings are super, super slippery. So they like, I might have to double knot it, but really cute. Okay, cute. Love, love. Ooh. I'm going to Nashville this summer, so that's why I got this one, but it's really cute. Now on to orange. Okay, I usually don't like off the shoulder stuff, but I really kind of like this and she's cute. Okay, I know I keep saying things are cute, but like, come on. Oh, ew. Come on. This one I feel like you could do on the shoulder or off. I think I prefer on because I don't like my shoulders, but love the sleeves, fun. Come on, man. These are all literally looking so cute. Time for yellow. This is a fun summer look. Um, I would definitely wear a bra with it because it's a little nippy. I hate to be that person, but go to part two if you care. This is how $20,000 worth of clothes look like. <laughs> Let's open it together. Actually, it's 25. Isabel Moran bag, Ortega Veneta bag, sick Balenciaga sneakers, Alexander Wang, Versace pink pants, the Mane suit that I've been dreaming about, Attico new collection, stout dress. When I tell you guys, H&M has stepped up their game with their jean line and overall clothing line, I wasn't kidding. So the first pair of jeans that I got are these white zipper fly high-waisted straight jeans. This is how they look on. They are a size eight, an unpopular opinion, but I actually like H&M jeans more than Abercrombie. And they are also petite friendly, which we love. Next up, we have these pink jeans and these are so perfect for spring. This is how they look on and these are a little longer. So if you are petite, you might need to get them hemmed and they're also a zipper fly. Next up, I got this turtleneck, so it is a little big, but I have an idea of how I'm going to style it, and the material is so, so good. It's the perfect length to have it over the shoulders or to wear. So size medium is all they had left, which is so tragic because these are so nice. I was thinking of getting an extra small, but I'm going to show you guys how I'll tuck it in. So this is how it looks tucked in, and I always think that clothes... It's better for it to be bigger than smaller because you can always style it in so many different ways if it is oversized. Last, I got this trench coat. H&M's trench coats are actually pretty nice. So I have a more expensive one and around the shade it is a London Fog one. And I actually like the feel of this H&M one much better for spring. It's a lot lighter. So this is the London Fog and then this is H&M. And I'm probably going to be wearing the H&M one a lot more. And then this is the trench coat. I have the same one in a lighter color, but this is just like the perfect trench and I believe it's only 60 bucks, but H&M always has sales. So like I wouldn't buy it full price. Off here I go. 
All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the only non-clothing item I got, which is the Tree of Life. It's a hanging thing, it's so cute, and it was only $20, and I think it's huge, so I think it's a good deal. Okay, now to thrifted stuff. So I got this backpack for three bucks. <sighs> oh, it's so cute. I don't see a brand anywhere, but I'll look. Next thing I got was this bikini top that I'm probably gonna wear as like a, like a just a top. Um, I think it's originally from Walmart because it's the exhilaration brand, but it's cute. Then I got these overalls. Um, the brand is Divided, so that's H&M. Super cute basic. Okay, these ones are my favorite. So I got this one. I think it'll look super cute with a fun bralette, a skirt. You can wear bell-bottom jeans, top with it. Lots of things, super cute, love the material. Next up is this like fairy grunge, like long ombre skirt. I just love it so much. It's so cute, it ties, so it's adjustable. Love it so much. Look, gonna look so good with a pair of like docks, um, like a crew neck, um, or for like summer, it could be a bralette, um, small top, whatever. This would even look good with the, with this that I got, so. This had been marked down three times before I bought it, so that either means it's a treasure and it's a find, or it's really ugly and I just don't realize it yet. But right now I'm gonna go with it's really cute and it's a treasure, so. It's this, it's like a, I don't even know, it's like patchwork, I don't know. Super cute, love it, I look so cute in it. It's like a little fairy core, like I like, I feel like I'm on Little House on the Prairie, like I don't know. You guys already call me a really cool art teacher in the comment section, so I think this just adds to it. It'll look great for transitioning into fall. Same with this one, gonna be a super nice uh, way to transition into fall, layering, um, so yeah. Then I got this. I don't have a long uh, black skirt, so this is really cute and a good find. Um, I can wear uh, in the fall, because I'm kind of looking for a fall outfit. So I was thinking about this with like Doc Martens, oversized crew neck, or a t-shirt with like uh, a crew or um, a turtleneck underneath, like different colors. So, so this top, which I'm gonna dye brown. I already have the color at home. Um, I have too many tops that color and it honestly doesn't really look that good with my skin, so. And last but not least, this hat. It's not gonna look like this. I'll find a way to wear it. it it'll look cute, I promise, but anyway. It's like those pants that went viral like last year, but uh, in a half form. That's all, thank you.